Gus, hey, how's it going? What are you doing here? Good morning. Morning, Gus, and it is morning. Really early morning. Ah, what a beautiful day, huh? Yes, it's nice. It's very pleasant, Gus. You know, as the saloon owner, I hear about everything that's going on in town. I bet you do. I remember when you first moved here, everyone was a bit unsure of what to expect. A stranger from the city? An unknown personality? W one sec. Oh, what are you doing? What is that? Sorry, I have to stir this pot every five minutes. What is it? Is it like roux? Like what are you cooking that you can bring away from the stove? Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, you know, it's like when you're making a sauce. Like the one you're making? If you put in a new spice, you could ruin everything. Are you saying- Oh my gosh, Gus, what is- Oh, okay. But then again, there's always a chance you'll create something new and delicious, right? <laughs> right. Good story, Gus. Or, uh, what I'm trying to say is, spit it out, Gus, spit it out. It's been great having you in town, and I've come to think of you as one of my good friends. Oh, snap, Gus, that's really sweet of you to say. I never talked to you, so that's kind of surprising. Is this about the coconut? Anyway, I came to give you something. I was cleaning out the back room, and I found this old mini jukebox. I want you to have it. Gus, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Thank you so much. It's actually an old do-it-yourself project of mine from many years ago. They're pretty easy to make. Well, thank you for giving this to me and then immediately diminishing its value. So, in case you wanted to make more, I brought the blueprints for you. Oh, that's nice. Thank you, Gus. Well, uh, I'm gonna head home. I gotta get this marinara back on the stove. Have a good one. Yeah, you too, Gus. Have a good one. Good morning, fellow farmers. Welcome back. Oh, good morning, Harvey. Wait, hold on. Let me go say hi to Harvey. Good morning, my love. I'm going to study the medical literature today. It's important for me to keep up to date so I can give my patients the best care possible. That sounds like a really good idea, Harvey. Oh, kiss for you. And in fact, uh, I don't have any coffee for you, my love. <gasps> I'm so sorry. I should get that taken care of. Oh, sorry. I mean, kiss for you. I guess I have some wine. Here, Harvey, I know it's early, but... <laughs> It's Saturday, live a little. Here's some wine. It's for me. This is my favorite stuff. It's like you read my mind. Always and forever, Harvey. Always and forever. Cause you know, I'm sure you can read my mind. Well, anyways, fellow farmers, welcome back. Happy Saturday. How are you all doing? Are you doing okay? Wonderful, wonderful to hear. Okay, well, let's get on with our routine. We have a lot to do today. Nothing terribly important, but chores must get done. And of course we must begin by checking the weather and our fortune, of course. Uh, weatherman, what's going on? Welcome to KOZ05, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. Expect a few inches of snow tomorrow. Okay, I will. I will expect that entirely. Well, Wick, what's going on? Ah, yes. I can hear the spirits whispering something to me. The spirits are very happy today. They will do their best to shower everyone with good fortune. You know what that means, fella babies? Time to go to Skull Cavern. Oh, hey, Robin, what's going on? Good morning. Be patient, I still have a lot of work to do. Okay, I will be very patient, no worries. You t finish that in your own time. Okay, let's see what's in the mail. <gasps> New achievement, the beloved farmer. Stop it, stop it, I'm the beloved farmer. Okie dokie, I'll take it. Dear Otter, everyone around town has been talking about your great generosity lately. Apparently, packages have been appearing in people's houses containing items they posted about years ago on the Community Center Bulletin, and the packages are all addressed from your farm. Thanks for going out of your way to do something like that. All of us in town are delighted. Mayor Lewis. Oh, Mayor, thank you for saying thank you. Ooh, what's this? Picked up this recipe overseas. Enjoy. Want to say thanks for making me feel welcome. Kent. New cooking recipe, crispy bass. Hey, thanks, Kent. That's mighty nice. Oop, let's go get these worms. Well, snap, accolades from Lewis, which honestly, I never thought I'd see the day where he would do that. He kind of hates me. High key. He high key hates me. Good morning, Pep. Hope you're doing well. Okay, there's your water. Ah, these fences. 
they can wait. <laughs> I know that's super reckless, but honestly, those fences can wait. The cows can't come out until spring. Wait, there's only 28 days in a season. Okay, okay, maybe they can't wait very long. Good morning, my babes. Oops, sorry, Gruff. You're too young. Uh, good morning, my milky babes. How are you all doing? Are you doing well? Is it milking day? You know what? It's milking day for some and not for others. Well, how are you all doing today? Are you enjoying the last few days of winter? Hi, Benjamina. Well, I sure hope that you are. It's a beautiful day. It's a little chilly, but soon, soon it will be warm. You'll be able to enjoy the grass. Okay, bye everyone. See you shortly. Okay, let's go check on the chicky babes. I hope that they're doing similarly well. I hope they've prepared an egg hunt for us. Good morning, chicky babes. Hi. Oop, and our egg is still incubating. I'm looking forward to that dino egg hatching. I do believe it will hatch. I'm pretty confident about that. Good morning, honorary chicky babes. Thank you all for these delightful gifts. I hope you're all doing well. And I'll see you later. Enjoy the last few days of winter, my babes. Okay, let's go get these chores all taken care of. Maybe tomorrow if it's an not a particularly lucky day, I will fix those fences. But you see, the spirits are raining their affections down upon me today, and so I cannot miss that. All right, well, let's go empty our pockets and then skedaddle. Okay, let's get rid of some of this stuff. Hmm, this is totally disorganized again. How is it always disorganized? I ask you, what is happening? Okay, now let's go to the fighting one. Red much like my fighting hat. Okay, let's get our goods. Actually, as I recall, a lot of our goods are already in calico, so that's nice. Okay, and let's leave all of the stuff we simply do not need. Oh, and you want to know what I just realized? I need to make sure that I make some bombs before I go. I always forget to do that to my own detriment. So let's go ahead and make sure that we make... Oh, I can't even make any. I don't have enough iron. Oh, rats, but hey, here's a bomb. What's that doing in there? You should be in calico. All right, babies, let's go. Okay, bye everyone. Take care of the farm in my absence. You're all in charge and I 100% trust your judgment. I got rid of my hoe. Look at all these worms. What a disastrous decision. Hey, Pam Pam, how's it going? I had to take up fishing seeing as how close the river is. Yeah, you should. I bet you'd be good at it, Pam. Uh, but for now, can you please take me to calico? I have great need. I have great need of visiting Skull Cavern. And let me tell you what, Pam, today is a very lucky day. In fact, you ought to try to take advantage of this lucky day, Pam. You might find it worth the effort, though I don't know how much luck you need. You seem to be living a nice life, except for that weird stuff in your mobile home, because I sat on something sticky. And let me tell you, Pam, I did not enjoy it. Okay, let's get everything together. Look at this. Look at this. I'm actually doing pretty darn okay. Let's make some staircases actually while I'm here. Oh my gosh, we've got so much good stuff. I did not even realize how good of stuff we actually had here. Okay, but let's go ahead and get changed into my fighting hat. Uh, it is <laughs> not a time for holiday fun. Oh, and I need to make some bombs. I mean staircases. I should make some staircases. Uh, how many do you think? I don't- I kind of want to only use them for emergencies. That should be- oh, wait, just kidding. Let's put our hat back in. Okay, now let's go ahead and check this out and organize everything. Okay, as far as organization is concerned, this is looking pretty good, pretty good. Not terrible, not terrible at all. In fact, I think we're ready. Okay, fellow farmers, let's go down. I can't imagine we're going to go too far, but we'll see what- oh, shoot. Yes, you. I wish I could. You're so annoying. Oh, fellow farmers, I wonder what- ooh. Luck holds. There's a shaft leading down. Let's jump in and see how far we go. I fell 11 levels. Ouch, indeed. Ouch, look at my health. Let's eat this little cheese. Though you know what? I actually should have had some lucky eel. Oh yeah, let's just go down. Let's just take every advantage, uh, every opportunity we have to go down. Although I would like to, of course, wait for shafts, I'm not really going to prioritize that since the big plan is just get down as far as you possibly can. I was not trying to hit you in the first place. I wasn't missing. You just happened to be where I was hitting. But look at that. Look at this funny one. It's all kinds of different colors. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Run, run. No, no, no. I can't even run. 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 Okay, I need, I need, I need, I need to eat something. Okay, why am I panicking? Don't panic. Breathe. You can get him. 
If not, you can always, um, oh, what's that? Prismatic jelly. I have a, <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, snap, hello farmers. I accidentally finished a task that I kind of forgot that I had, but hey, Rasmodus will be pleased. Okay, I can definitely deliver this prismatic jelly to the wizard and he will be in my debt, which means he probably should hire me as his apprentice. Oh shoot, I hate you guys. There you are. Oh, two, two coming. Yeah, don't worry, I can handle it. Just kidding, I can't handle it because you didn't die when I thought you were going to. Die, 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 die. Oh my gosh, no, this is illegal. You cannot all come at me like this because there's another one coming. Oh, a dinosaur. Oh my gosh, I really am starting to think that Mr. Chi is trying to do me in, which is not fair. Honestly, your honor, I object. I don't understand why Mr. Chi is trying to attack me so cruelly. When, so far as I know, I haven't done anything to offend him. But maybe I did, I don't know. I tend... I'm not saying that I offend a bunch of people, but I wouldn't be surprised if I did. I am a little careless. And I wasn't very nice when I first got here. I will accept that. Oh, okay, let's go down, babes. Let's go down. I fell five levels, that's respectable. Well, anyways, fellow farmers, as I work my way back up, I guess let's talk about what we want to accomplish in this update. Although I do not have any pressing matters, we are getting to the end of the year. So we're just going to kind of cruise around. Our house is going to be upgraded, so we'll be able to make really good wine. And I'm really looking forward to that. Wait, 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 wait. We won't be able to make good wine. I forgot because actually, and I learned this the hard way, I need to start saving up again because it turns out that the basement where I can age really good wine is actually a completely different upgrade from the one that Robin's working on right now. Right now she's working in a nursery, which opens up the possibility for children for Harvey and I, as a little bird so kindly informed me. Having a nursery opens up the possibility of kids for Harvey and me, which is not something we've talked about. And maybe we should have? I don't know. You know, now that I'm really thinking about it, I'm pretty sure we should have talked about if we want kids. Uh, before we got married, it's kind of a big deal. <laughs> but you know what? I guess I just got completely carried away with the romance of everything because I did not ask Harvey if he wanted kids. And he did not ask me if I wanted kids. It is a big question mark at the moment. But anyways, what else are we up to? Gotta fix our fences. I think maybe that's what we'll do tomorrow. Tomorrow, we will fix our fences. We'll go to Robin and see what we need to do for our upgrade. And what else will we do? Oh, give Rasmodius the prismatic jelly. We've got a lot of work on our hands. I think we can do it. I think it'll be just fine. Okay, <gasps> a shaft. Let's jump in. We fell eight levels. Ouch, how's my health? Pretty fine, but not for long. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, eat some cheese. Gosh, I'm bad at fighting. I'm kind of surprised I'm not having greater luck because I'm super lucky. I gave that rabbit's foot to the Jojo driver. Oh, another secret note. Okay, hold on. Let's look at these secret notes. Oh, do you see that serpent? Hey, Mr. Chi, what gives? Greetings, Zada. Have you found my secret in the dark tunnel? I look forward to meeting you. Chi. Chi, why are you harassing me? Oh my gosh, run away. I can't believe that worked. Okay. Why is Mr. Chi harassing me? I have done nothing to him. What's this one? I hid something behind the community center? What? That's creepy. What do you think they hid? Shoot, it's midnight now. Oh, let's go down. Oh, shoot. Actually, that was a bad idea. Okay, okay. This is bad strategy. Let's just use these until we get down. To the 45. That's respectable, right? <gasps> shoot, I didn't even see you. Okay, yeah, I'm leaving. I promise I'm leaving. Well, 45 isn't too bad. It's not too bad. Shoot. Uh, I am going to faint, though. And I do s I dislike that. That doesn't do my heart any good. Okay. Hat in. Hat out. Hat on. Cool. Let's go. Let's hurry back. I think I'm not going to be able to make it home in time before I faint, but let's give it the old try. The old college try. Okay, come on, Pam. Hurry, 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 hurry. I'm going to faint. And you probably will too. Am I the only one who's affected by the 2am curse? For it, it is a curse. And honestly, I do not wish for Harvey to have to wake me up. So 
So now that I'm really thinking about it, he probably will not charge me because the last time I, faint I fainted in the mines, he charged me. But we were not dating. Robin, go to bed. Oh my gosh. You do not have to do it all in one night. Okay. Good night, pep. Good night. All right. Good night, fellow farmers. See you in the morning. Good night. Washy, 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 washy. Good morning, fellow farmers. How are you all doing today? And good night morning harvey my love how are you well here's to a fantastic year i have complete confidence that next year will be even better me too harv here's a kiss for you uh yeah it's the last day of winter oh my gosh it's a new year tomorrow which means we've got a lot to do today mostly uh, fixing fences so that our milky babes cheeky babes and honorary cheeky babes will be able to go into the yard without escaping but first let's check the weather our fortune and queen of sauce against my better judgment Hey, weatherman, what's going on? Welcome to KOZU5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's gonna be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Perfect for the first day of spring. I love it. Wellwick, what's going on? Ooh, I see a glimmer within my scrying orb. A shard of knowledge from the future. What is it? What is it? The spirits are in good humor today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. Love to hear it. Love to hear it. Okay, Queen of Sauce, what's going on? Greetings. It is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish, shrimp cocktail. Here's another good appetizer for you and your dinner guests. My cocktail sauce is extra zesty, and I'm sure you'll love it. Now, the first step, I learned how to cook shrimp cocktail. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. Bye, Harvey. I've got things to do, but I'll see you later. <gasps> Mail, what's going on? Gus? Dear Otter, here's a recipe for my saloon. I only share this with my good friends. Gus. Oh, <laughs> Gus. I'm so happy to know I'm your good friend. Ooh, what's this? Um, hello. Sorry, I'm not good at writing letters. I made one metal bar too many, and I thought you might need it. Clint, the blacksmith. Clint, I know who you are. But that's awfully nice of you. Thank you. Hey, Robin, how's it going? Your house should be ready tomorrow. Aw, that's great. Thank you so much for all of that work, Robin. I really appreciate it. Okay, now to business. Let's drop off all of this stuff so that we can carry on with our day. And hey, prismatic jelly. Let's hang on to that for sure, for sure, for sure, so that we can drop by the wizard. Hold on, let me get some fence going on. We are slowly transitioning into a metal fence. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, it's gone entirely. It's crumbled into oblivion. <laughs> well, I know what I'm doing first. Okay, well, golly gee, fellow farmers. I think we're going to be awfully busy today. First things first, we're going to, of course, take care of our chores. Uh, second thing is we're going to take the long way to town and drop by the traveling merchant, see what he's up to, see if he's got any goods. Good morning, Pep. How are you doing? And then we'll loop around and we will see what's going on with Rasmodius. See if he will accept our prismatic jelly and what kind of a reward we can expect. And then we will probably just jump in town for a smidge. But what I really want to do is make sure that we go to Robin's and see how much we need to be... Wait, there's no point in going to Robin's. Rats, Robin is here. There's no point in... <laughs> I did not think that through. Well, okay, we'll do that tomorrow on the first day of spring. But first, let's check out our cheeky babes. Good morning, everyone. Eggs still incubating? That's fine. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you all doing? Ugh, I love you all so much. You're all so cute. Thank you so much for all that you do. All right, bye-bye. Happy last day of winter. Uh, I guess I should come down here. I need to start really monitoring my fences, because uh, even though Harvey says he fixes them, he doesn't. I'm sure he means the best, but he doesn't exactly fix the fences all the time. And that's fine. I do not require that of him, but it's something to have to keep in mind. Okay, let's go in. Good morning, Milky Babes. How are you all doing today? Are you all doing well? Okay. Okay. Because I don't think any of the goats, other than you, are having a milking day. Okay, well that was from sugar. Hi, Benjamina. Oh, gosh darn it. You're all so cute. Okay, see you later. Happy last day of winter. Okay, it's already 10.30. Are you kidding me? Where did the time go? 
Okay, let's go ahead and sell some of this stuff so that we have a few more pockets free. And also I have a feeling that Robin's upgrade is going to be really expensive. So it's a good idea to continue making as much money as we can. And speaking of making a lot of money, a little bird told me that a really good way to make a ton of money is to make ancient fruit wine. And so I've got the ancient fruits growing there. Uh, so I'll be able to start making wine pretty soon. Uh, nothing else really to report in here. That's a shame. That's okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the traveling merchant. We've got so much to do. Oh no, you know what? I just realized that springtime means more work on the farm. Lots more crops to have to tend to. I guess. Oh, what's this? Penny, you're having a last day of winter picnic? How wonderful. Oh, Otter, it's perfect timing that you showed up. Oh, is it? Is it lunchtime? Can I join you? I brought the children on a little field trip into the countryside. Well, that's nice. I'm sure they like that. You know all about life in the country, right? You know what? I must say, I do. I do indeed. So I was thinking, could you be my guest speaker today? Guest speaker? Penny, you need to tell me these things in advance. I don't have anything prepared. I mean, I'm really on the spot. Uh, so let me think. I'd love to. Well, that would be a nice thing to do. <laughs> sure. No, I can't stand kids. Oh, the music stopped when I said that one. That's a bad omen. Uh, you know what? Let's be gracious. Penny, even though you gave me zero time to prepare and I really hate public speaking anyways, I would love to. Jazz and Vincent are okay in my book. Even if Vincent didn't push me on the swing that one time and I totally am still remembering that. That's okay. I'm not resentful over it at all. But yeah, Penny, I would love to. I'd love to. Great. Let me just call the children over. Okie dokie, you call them over right now. Jazz, Vincent, may I have your attention, please? Wow, that's a very nice one. <laughs> eep, eep. I have a very special guest here to talk to you today, our very own local farmer, Otter. Hey, fellow kids. She has first-hand experience living in the countryside, so she knows all about the valley's natural resources. Uh, sure I do. Oh, I talk about the natural resources all the time. <laughs> Can anyone tell me what a natural resource is? Me, 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 me. Oh, me, 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 me. Jazz? A natural resource is a material source of wealth that occurs in a natural state and has economic value. Oh my gosh, Jazz. Bravo. Look at that finger raised like a true academic. Good job, Jazz. Wow, I'm thoroughly impressed. Very good. That's worth two star points, Jazz. Oh, you do a star point system? Yes! Good job, Jazz. You are very smart. Okay, now let's give Otter our full attention. So am I talking about natural resources, Penny? You did not tell me what I'm supposed to talk about. You just said guest speaker. I'm inferencing a whole lot, Penny, and I would appreciate the direct approach, but that's okay. Anything for the children. Okay, kids, let me tell you a little bit about natural resources. Oh, wait, here are my options. Country life is all about farming. Country life is all about gathering from the wild. Well, I don't know which one I'm supposed to do. Penny, what gives? You set me up for failure. Let me look at one of those books real fast. Is that sushi? Do you guys have sushi? Can I please have some? Gosh, you guys sure know how to have a good picnic. Um, well, I'm going to stick to what I know. I don't really do that much gathering these days, so I'm just going to stick to what I know. Hey, kids, country life is all about farming, even though it isn't. I kind of need an in-between option, but whatever. That's what we're saying. Oh, the valley's soil is ideal for growing delicious vegetables. The valley's air and grass are perfect for raising animals. Aww. I'm gonna say this because I love my milky babes, my cheeky babes, and all my honorary babes. Kids, the valley's air and grass are perfect for raising animals. What do you think about that? Oh, yes, Vincent, you have a question. Yes, Vincent? Hey, I already said that, Penny. Farmer Otter, can I put a saddle on one of your cows and ride it into town? I want to be a real cowboy. Okay, Vincent, that is, no, Vincent, I can't even, I don't even know where to start to tell you how much of a no my answer is. There's a lot of parts of your question to unpack. Uh, no, you cannot do that to my cows, not my milky babes. Vincent, behave yourself. Miss Otter makes her living working on the farm. It's not a playground. It's not a playground. You have your own playground and you don't even push me on the swing on the playground. It's a mess, Vincent. What a messy question. I invite you to ask a different one. Well, that's probably enough for today. You two run along and play. Oh, snap. Bye, Jess. Bye, Vincent. Don't go too far. You guys are going kind of 
I'm just staying on a bridge. What are you guys even doing? Anyways, hey Penny. It's a lot of work to take care of these kids. Oh, <laughs> I bet. Better you than me for sure. But I don't really mind, and I enjoy seeing them learn. And hopefully I can help them grow up to be good people. Oh, that's a nice goal, Penny. I bet you'll do a great job. Would you ever want to be a parent, Otter? Oh, how come it's you who's asking me this for the first time and not Harvey? What can I say? We just got swept away by the romance of it all. Okay, I haven't really thought about it. Absolutely, I want a big family. I guess so, it's a natural urge. No, I don't think I'd be good at it. No, the world's crowded enough already. No, I don't want to be tied down with a family. Uh, okay, well... I guess this is a good prep for when I talk to Harvey about it. I guess I'm gonna say I haven't really thought about it. I've been so preoccupied with my farm. Penny, you should know this. I was the guest speaker at your lecture, so you should know this. I'm gonna just say I haven't really thought about it, to be perfectly honest. I've been busy. Oh no, why are you blushing? No, Penny, not you too. Why is everybody flirting with me? I cannot get over it. You wipe that blush right off your face, Penny. I do not have the time for this. Well, I guess that makes sense. You're busy with other things right now. You're right, I'm really busy. Such as getting settled in with my husband, Penny. Jeez, you would think that people would just transition into completely, strictly platonic relationships with me, but oh no, Penny is shameless. Well, I'm glad you showed up, Otter. I think the kids had a great time. Good, good. I did it for the kids, Penny. Okay, where did you go? Well, I must admit, I did it for the kids, Penny, and I would like you to keep that in mind, Penny. Oh, hey, Jas, you little academic you. How's it going? One, two, three, four. Oh, no, I messed up again. That's okay. You'll get it one of these days. It's hard to get to five. Hi, <laughs> traveling merchant, what's up? I smuggle these goods out of the Gotoro Empire. Why do you think they're so expensive? Um, because... Hold the presses, fellow farmers hold the presses. Do you see what I'm seeing? A puffer fish. Fellow farmers, it is the luckiest day on earth. A puffer fish. This is the last thing in the community center. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna buy three. Mm, yeah, I, I don't know why I need three, but are you kidding me? Oh, a puzzle table. I'm also gonna buy that because that's cute. I cannot believe it. I am gonna also buy this. Fellow farmers, Hello, farmers. I believe that is the last thing in our community center. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is our final task. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. This is the luckiest day of days. On this final day of winter, year two. Hello, farmers. We've completed the community center. I cannot believe it. Oh my gosh. Knock, knock, Rasmodius. You must make me your apprentice now. I achieved the impossible task. Hey, Rasmodius, what's up? I sometimes observe the local villagers in secret. You know what? Me too. I read their secret notes all the time. I am hoping to find an apprentice. Someday I will leave this mortal plane, but my arcane pursuits must continue. And I will carry on your legacy, right? In fact, check this out. I got you your prismatic jelly. Ah, you've returned from the hunt. I sense that you are successful. Super successful. Now hand over that jelly and be gone. I have important work to do. Gosh, you're welcome. Jeez, maybe I don't want to be your apprentice at all. You're mean and very unappreciative, I will say. Well, gee whiz, but no matter, Rasmodius, your rude mood cannot destroy my day because I'm headed to the community center to fulfill the final task. I am so excited and I'm so bewildered, honestly, that that was even possible. On the last day, the merchant really pulled through. I'm, I'm amazed. I'm super happy. Oh, hey, Abigail, how's it going? Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Remember that drawing I showed you with the orc? I do, actually. I liked it a lot. I entered it into an online contest and won 50G. <gasps> Congratulations, Abigail. That's a big deal. Oh, hey, Alex, what's going on? I mean, hey, Sam, what's going on? Try not to make a mess in the house or my mom will flip. Okay. I was definitely planning on tipping over some stuff, you know, as I do regularly, but I guess I'll reel myself in. Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. Everybody brace yourself. Everybody brace yourself. I don't know why I got four. I was a little excited. <gasps> Bundle complete. I cannot believe this. Oh, dish of the sea. This will help me with Willy. Hey, everyone. I finished it against all odds. I'm just as shocked as you are. I agree. I didn't think I could do it either. Yes, Bundle. Farewell, I... And farewell? Not for good? Wait, for... I forgot... Oh, you guys are leaving? Ooh, 
Wow. But you guys, don't leave. You should stay here forever. No. <laughs> the Junimos have returned to the spirit world. No. No. Come back. Oh my gosh. That makes me genuinely sad. That's sad. Oh, but you guys are so cute and I thought we were going to have a little dance in time again. Oh. Okay, fine. But hey, look, this is nice. I guess I can finally open business. This is my office after all. This is where I sell advice and solutions. But not right now, because I do have other things I need to be doing. Well, it was nice knowing you guys. If you guys can still hear me, thanks for all the great times and for fixing Stardew Valley up. It was amazing and it's been a pleasure knowing you. All right, well, I guess I'm headed out. Bye-bye. Well, that was a lot sadder than I thought it was going to be. But you know what? That's okay. I guess I'll get over it. I guess. As much as I don't want to. Hey, Alex. How's it going? A word of warning. My grandpa really hates clay. I think he might be allergic to clay. Well, I mean, that's good to know. You know what? I forgot something, Alex. Out of the way, Alex. Uh, there was that secret note that said that something was behind the community center. And I completely forgot about that. So let's go investigate. If it's even possible to get behind the community center. Oh, I guess so. Oh, yeah, it's totally possible. What's going on? What's going on back here? Okie dokie. I guess I'll try this. <laughs> Wait, it was the community center, right? Oh, I should do this one too. Oh, I borrowed a necklace from mom, but she lost it somewhere near the bathhouse. She's going to freak out if she notices it's missing. Oh, I should try to do that one too. I hit something behind the community center. This is the community center. Oh, Stone Junimo! Stone Junimo? No way! Oh my gosh. Well, I guess I won't have to miss them for forever. That's amazing. Oh, hi, Emily. What's going on? I mean, hey, Caroline. What's going on? Today, I'm just going to relax and think positively. It's a good idea. Do you ever take a day off? Not really. I don't think I'd be able to survive if I did. Oh, me, oh my. Oh yeah, let's go do this other one over here. See if we can figure that puzzle out. And then we should probably go home to Harvey. Oh, hi ladies. Have I already talked to you, Maru? What's going on? I get so sleepy when it's cold. That makes sense. Hey, Penny. Thanks for making my field trip a success today. Oh, of course. My pleasure. My absolute pleasure. Now, excuse me, ladies. I've got a puzzle to do. Oh, hey, Marnie. What's going on? Hi, Otto. How's it going? I'm glad we've become friends. I know I can trust you to take care of my dear animals. Ah, oh, thanks for your faith in me. Okay, here we are. Let's do it. But first, I must take a picture so that I can do this successfully. Okay, Groovy. From here. From here, I say. Okay. To the left. Upwards. To the right. Take it up now, y'all. Down. Here, behind Lewis's house? A solid gold Lewis. Are you kidding me? This is fantastic. I did not know I needed this in my life. So a stone Junimo and a golden <laughs> Lewis. Oh, that's amazing. I'm very tickled by that. Hey, everyone. How's it going? Hey, Shane. If I watch more TV, maybe I can forget about life. That would be relaxing. Well, Shane, go focus on your chickens. Hey, Grandpapa 2.0. I need a little warm me up to be ready for another cold night on the ocean. Well, don't worry. It's spring soon, and then you'll be a roasty toasty. Maybe. Probably not. The ocean's awfully cold, isn't it? Hey, Leah, how's it going? Long time no see. Do you ever take a whole day off? No, I cannot afford to. It's a refreshing break. Is that what you were doing? Also, you have purple eyes, and it's stunning. Platonically. That was a platonic compliment. Hey, Pam. Oopsies. Hey, Pam. Oh, no. Pam seems out of it. Better leave her alone right now. Well, that's fine. Hey, Emily, what's going on? My sister and I might fight sometimes, but I would really miss her if she left. Is she talking about leaving? I think she'll become a very nice young lady someday. <laughs> Don't tell her I said that. I'm gonna go tell her right now. So, is there anything you want to talk about? No, not really, actually. Surprisingly. Hey, Gus, what's going on? Ah, there, Otter. I'm glad to see you. You're always welcome here. Thanks, Gus. Gus, I don't know how much... You know that means to me. Clint, hey, how's it going? Thanks for the bar. So, uh, how are your tools holding up? 
we're all holding up pretty good. I'm gonna come in for an upgrade pretty soon. Okay, bye everyone. Good night, good night. Oh, me, oh my fellow farmers. Well, I guess tomorrow we will head on up to Robin to see what we can expect from our final upgrade so that we can get an actual seller. And then we'll probably do something else. I actually don't know. <gasps> Fellow farmers, no, wait, let's set up Lewis. He can be our, our guardian. Where should we put Lewis? Where do you want, where should we put Lewis? How about right here? Watching over us. That's a good one. And then I'll put the Junimo. Oh, you know what? Let's put it by, let's put it by Pep. Oh, and we can sell all that stuff. Yeah, let's put it by Pep so that Pep has a friend. Right there. Nice. It's a little out of the way, but that's fine. I can always move it if I need to. Fellow farmers, I am just amazed that we got enough puffer fish the day before year three. That's amazing. I had kind of set myself a personal goal to do that, and so I'm very amused that I was able to do that after all. How big is this table? I have no idea. Oh, perfect. I guess I have children on the brain, but that looks like a good thing for a kid to have. Oh, Harvey, good night, my love, and good night, pet, my other love. Okay, fellow farmers, we've got a lot to do tomorrow, so let's go ahead and get some shut-eye. Good night. Wash, 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 wash. That sounded like an... Oh, you guys. A final gift. Thank you. You know what? I'm going to miss you guys an awful lot. <gasps> Grandpa? What the heck? Hi. How's it been going? How's your rest been? My dearest granddaughter. Hi, Grandpa, my dearest Grandpa. It's been many years since we last spoke. You were just a little girl. Do you remember? I remember everything about you, Grandpa. Every last interaction. Especially that you always wore your Santa hat. Gosh darn it, that's what we liked about you the best. You're always such a jolly sort. Look how far you've come. Oh, thanks, Grandpa. I just hope that I've done you proud and really done my best to live up to your legacy and carry it on. Though you may have forgotten me, I've been here all along. Okay, I'm going to get over the fact that that's a little creepy that you've been watching over me this whole time. But, aww, of course not, Grandpa. I would never forget you. I've always been thinking about you. How could I not when Lewis always talks about you? Did he murder you? Grandpa, can I ask you a question? Did, did Lewis murder you? You can knock once for no and twice for yes. Did Lewis murder you? Okay, we, we can we can do this later. Abigail has a Ouija board, so you can tell me later if you want. But thanks for looking out for me, Grandpa. You see, my body has departed this world, but my heart will always remain in Stardew Valley. You know what? I can totally see why. At first, I didn't really get it, but I really see it now. I really understand why. Aw, look at you out there in the heavens, dancing among the stars. You've been here two years now. I know. They went by real fast, let me tell you. I'm so proud of you, my dear grandpa. Stop it. This has already been too emotional of a day. The Junimos left me, and now you're saying you're proud of me when that's all I ever really wanted. Gosh darn it, grandpa. Don't you dare make me cry, grandpa. I'll be so mad. You're a better farmer than I ever was, and you've brought great honor to the family name. Grandpa, stop it. Also, I get the impression you were a terrible farmer because it was in such disrepair when I came and the farmhouse was so small. So I don't think that's much of a compliment because I don't think it takes much to be a better farmer than you, but your sentiment, I will take it to heart, Grandpa. I am so glad that I brought honor to the family name. I can feel it now. My spirit is finally put to rest. Bless you. Thanks, Grandpa. I'll accept that blessing. Aw, oh, Grandpa, I hope you can rest easy now. The future of Shadow Ridge Farm is in your hands now. Now? Was it not always? You've just created a really interesting implication, Grandpa. Did I not have any control over what was going on with the future of Shadow Ranch this whole time? You're gonna need to explain that a little more, Grandpa. Farewell. Grandpa, I need answers. Grandpa, come back. Don't you dare leave me now. Gosh darn it, Grandpa. You left me with even more answers. No questions. Oh, look, there's the nursery. Well, gosh darn it, Grandpa. Harvey, Harvey, Harvey. We've been haunted. We've been haunted, Harvey. It's wonderful to see all the plants return to life. The greenery is refreshing after a monochrome winter. I agree. Oh, here's a here's a kiss for you, Harvey. But Harvey, oh my, Harvey, we cannot get to our nursery. Look at all this. This is a big old nursery. Well, let's create you a nice little den over there. There, perfect. Okay, so I'm not talking about kids 
necessarily Harvey, but if we have kids, this will be a good room for them. They can play there. Uh, but I'm not saying I want kids because we have not talked about that yet, but that's okay. I will say I am ready to talk about it whenever you're ready. Okay, so the haunting we just had from Grandpa Pop Pop pa kind of threw me for a loop but i'm back now and i'm ready to begin the day good morning fellow farmers welcome back it's the first day of spring isn't this amazing uh but before we get carried away with ourselves let's check the weather wellwick and any other interesting program that's on the tv hey weatherman what's going on welcome to kozu5 your number one source for weather news and entertainment and now the weather forecast for tomorrow it's gonna be clear and sunny all day sweet I like to hear it. Hey, Wellwick, what's going on? Ooh, I see a glimmer within my scrying orb. A shard of knowledge from the future. The spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Luck will not be on your side. Rats. That's not a good way to start the new year, is it? Hey, living off the land. I guess this is a rerun, huh? Welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. This one's for all your greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for the wild forest to earn some cash while waiting for your first harvest. That's a good program to have as your first day of spring episode. Okay, happy new year, my love. But I'm going off to go see what kind of disrepair the farm has fallen into in spring. Whoa. What's happening? Oh, I know what's happening. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> the dawn of the third year, the dawn of the third year or something like that. Yeah, I did forget about that. Uh, and that was very mysterious, but I, uh, mail takes precedence. What is happening? Rasmodius, what's up? The specimen you delivered offered great insight into the machinations of the fell beings we call monsters. I formulated a pungent tincture that these beings find intoxicating. Use it with caution, Monsieur Rasmodius, wizard. New crafting recipe, monster musk. No, thank you. <laughs> no, thanks. I do not wish for monster musk. Okay, let's do this. Let's go ahead and mosey our way up to the uh, grave. Grandpa -pa 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 Papa's grave. Uh, but first, good morning, Pep. Do you like your statue? It's for you, so you're never alone. Okay, let's make our... Can we even get there? I don't know. Oh yeah, we managed. We managed. What's this? Why is that like that? That's weird. Why is it like that? That's weird. Whatever, it must not be important. Hey, Grandpa -pa 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 Papa's ghost, what's going on? <gasps> statue of Perfection. You found a peculiar statue behind Grandpa's shrine. Okay, thanks, Grandpa. I kind of thought you were going to come and say something, but uh, thanks for the statue. It's cute. I'll put it by Pep. I have just learned that Pep really enjoys having statues. It's his little friends, you see. Uh, I think I'll chop down this tree, though. Well, neat. Thanks, Grandpa. It suggests that you think that all of my efforts were indeed perfect. I'll accept it. I'll accept it. Oh my gosh, fellow farmers. Fellow farmers. We've got simply too much to do. Simply too much to do. Okay, we have to let out our milky babes. We have to let them out. And we have to go get grass. Of course. Oh, come on out. I'll actually come back. You guys take care of your business. I will... Woof, woof. Wait. Woof. I did not realize that that was uh, a problem. Uh, well, I figured it out. Okay, let's get rid of all of this and let out our darling, darling, darling chicky babes. Hopefully they will not attempt the great escape. Okay, I will go inside and grab your eggs So Come on, everyone. Time to get out into the spring. I'm going to head over to Pierre's. I make sure to get some grass for you all, so no worries on that front. Uh, but yeah, come on outside. Come on outside. It's a beautiful day and you better take advantage of it. I'll come back with some grass. Don't worry. Don't even worry about it. Uh, gosh, I probably should make sure that I, um, what was I going to say? I need to make sure I do something. I imagine it was very important, whatever I was going to say. Oh, get crops. I need to get crops. Can you imagine? I can't. Oh my gosh, I missed the spring music. This is amazing. Wow, wow, wow. Happy. Oh, <gasps> hey. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's a proper celebration. Marty's doing a little dance. Aw, are you guys admiring the community center? I spent a lot of time and hard work doing that. I don't mind saying. 
Oh my gosh, look at everybody having a good time. Even Gunther is here, no way! Oh snap, look at all that. And Willie's looking at the fish tank. Even George is here, are you kidding me? Wow, this really is going to be the community center, the center of our community, that's amazing. Well, Clint, you go investigate that forge. I didn't think you'd be into that because you're kind of already into that at your own work. Oh shoot, I'm wearing a Santa hat. That's embarrassing. It's not even winter anymore. I'm not sure how you did it, Otter, but the community center has never looked better. Yeah, you didn't think I could do it, did you, Lewis? You thought you were setting me up for failure. Well, here I am to tell you that you thought wrong. You once again underestimated me, Lewis, and my only regret is that I was not wearing your purple shorts to just show you what kind of an opponent I am. You've done Pelican Town a great service. Everyone in town is pleased. Oh, that makes me happy. I hope that they all know that I did it for the Junimos. And also for them, but mostly for the Junimos. As a way of saying thank you, I'd like to present you with this town's greatest honor, the Stardew Hero Award. You've earned it. No. What? I didn't even know this was possible. I'm a hero? Oh my gosh, I might have worked a little harder if I knew that this was the reward, the Stardew Hero Award. Don't mind if I do. Thank you, Lewis. Ooh, it's an actual trophy. That's amazing. I received a Stardew Hero trophy. Well, snap, that's amazing. <gasps> a mysterious voice? <laughs> Who is that? Who is that? That's what I said. I said it first, Lewis. <gasps> Morris, you fiend, you villain! Sales have been plummeting. Where have all my customers gone? Uh, hi, Morris. Ah, Morris! Ah, Morris. You look like you're dressed as a vampire today. Ugh, and your foolish bow tie. Ooh, uh, all my customers here. <laughs> oh my gosh. You look discombobulated yourself, Morris. What do you think about that? Yes! I stole all your customers. They're all here, Morris. What do you have to say about that? This isn't good. No, it's not. Put your tongue away. Oh. How does it feel? Oh, Pierre. You tell him what for, Pierre. You stand up to Morris. <laughs> what am I gonna say? Let's be reasonable. Let's settle this the old-fashioned way. Are you kidding me? Okay, here's the thing. I personally want to say let's settle this the old-fashioned way because then Pierre and Morris would just like cancel each other out and I wouldn't have to worry about either of them ever again. However, I just received the Stardew Hero Award, so I think I need to be a little more rational. So I'm going to try to defuse the situation. We're just going to go the more reasonable route. And I say, okay, Pierre, let's be reasonable. Let's not lose our heads. Hmm. It's of no consequence. I'll just run a 75% off sale and all my customers will come crawling back to me, begging for forgiveness. You'll see, you'll see. I don't think so somehow, Morris. No. Not this time. You tell him, Pierre. Wow. Gather round, everyone. Wow, look at Pierre standing up for the community. Okay, Pierre, you've got it. Knock his lights out. I remember when I first moved to Pelican Town. This building was active and vibrant. We worked together to make the town a better place. There was a real sense of community. Oh, well, it certainly had disintegrated by the time I got here. But I'm sorry to interrupt. Carry on, Pierre. George, you always used to do the crossword puzzle while sipping coffee in the community kitchen. Remember? George used to be here. Oh, that's cute. Come do it again. The good old days. Emily, you wove that custom banner for the Stardew Valley Fair. I remember you working on that for years. Aw, Pierre, you're surprisingly wholesome in this moment. It it was a lot of fun. Aw. Willy, army, remember your little crab experiment got out of hand. That was very recent, or does Willy just have a crab problem? <laughs> that I do. We showed up one morning and the place was crawling with them. You don't have good luck with crabs, do you, Willy? But Gus saves the day with a brilliant idea. A crab leg feast for the entire valley. Gus is always cooking up my best friend crabs. I do not understand. I still dream of that garlic butter. If you want to know something, Gus, you can have garlic butter on other things, not just my friend's legs. Hmm. You see, everyone, our community is what makes Pelican Town special. When George and Mark came to town, we lost sight of that. But now, thanks to Otter, we have a second chance. Ah, oh, thanks, Pierre. I will take my accolades. Thank you. I'm asking that you join me in boycotting George and Mark. We have the power to reclaim our old way of life. 
Okay, I know that you're trying to be noble and stand up to Mars, but I cannot help but think you stand to personally benefit from this strike, Pierre. Don't think that I'm not noticing that, but carry on because I like your noble effort in this moment. Carry on, carry on. Ugh, who is with me? Everyone, I dare say. Come on, everybody. Anybody? <gasps> George! I've lived here too long to see this town go to ruin. <laughs> George, this is why you're one of my favorite people of all time. You can count me in. Thanks, George. I'm in. Boycott. Me too. No more Jojo. It's about time. Ugh, I'm done for. Yes, you are, Morris, and it's high time that you are. Yeah, you run away. You run away, Morris, like the little coward that you are. You a yellow belly liver. What? <laughs> run away. Run back to your business. Ooh. Morris and his Jojo Mark cronies were never heard from again, ever? That's amazing. You know what, Pierre? Our feud will continue, but you did good here, Pierre. Well, snap. Wait, let's go inside and look and see if anybody's here. George, George, George. I was really hoping George would be here doing his crossword puzzle. Is anybody here? No? Okay, well, I also kind of want to go see what's going on with Jojo Mark. Is he really gone? That's amazing. Wow, what a confrontation. I cannot believe it. That was amazing. Wow, we really showed Morris what fur. Okay, let's go see what's going on. And then we'll come back and get our grass and take care of our monkey babes and cheeky babes. Let's see what's going on over here. Is it still... Oh, wow, it really fell into disrepair. Oh my gosh. Closed, as it should be. Out of business. Terminated, as it should be. Duh. They didn't even leave anything cool in the trash. Is this guy still here? Now, is he, was he a crony this whole time? That's not good news. Oh my gosh, but hey, look, we got a trophy. Oh, Abigail, you freaked me out. I did not know you were right there. How's it going? Oh, Otter, hi. Hey, how's it going? Wanna hang out for a while? Here, let me read your palm. Okay, what does it say? What does it say, Abigail? Abigail? Okay. Was it that bad? Okay, well, never fine. Don't tell me. Keep your secrets. Fine. Pierre, Pierre, you were so noble. Oh, hi, Leah. How's it going? The trees look nice today, don't they? Really? So, why did you become a farmer? Ooh, okay, let's see. I want to make tons of money. That's not it. It's more real than living in the city. No, that's not it. To follow in Grandpa's footsteps? I wanted to escape my old life. You know what? As tempting as it is to say to follow my grandpa's footsteps, it really was to escape my old life. You know, that rat race where I too was working for Joja. I wanted to escape Leah. That's why I became a farmer. That's pretty much the reason I came here too. Aw, we're friends, aren't we? We're good friends. Hey, Pierre, good job, by the way. Well, I'll tell you that in a minute, but I've got to get some grass starter for my babies and you will see that I'm getting a lot. Oh, and I need to go to... Robin, I forgot. Hey, Pierre, good job. This is a dream come true. You can't begin to imagine how much stress Jojomat was causing me. I can imagine, I can imagine. For a small town like this, one store is enough. There's too much social pressure for me to overcharge anyway. Yeah, you better not overcharge, Pierre. I've got my eye on you. What is up with this picture? That looks like a really creepy smiling cookie or something. I don't know. I'm running away because I fear that with all of my life. I fear that. I fear that with every fiber of my being. Oh, wait, I can totally zip up to Robbins. Check this out. Let's drink a triple shot espresso. Get some pep in our step and zoom, 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 to Robbins to see how much an expansion is going to cost me. Uh, because let me tell you. Oh. Hey, Grandpa 2.0. Admiring my friend's handiwork? I didn't do that. The Juno most did that. Hi, Otter. Hi, Willie. How's it going? It's odd. I'm not sure what caused this boulder to disappear. <laughs> I do, but I'm keeping my own secrets, so I will just say that I had a little help from my friends. The stream is flowing from deep within the mountain. Oh, that's neat. Hey, what's that? Whoa! Har yar! Hey, did you see that glistening in the water? Yeah, what is that? What could that be, Willie? Yes, that's quality ore. That's ore? Oh, uh, okay, that's good to know. The flow of the water must be carrying it out of the mountain. Oh, neat. Okay, that's nice. You know what that means, right? 
Uh, no, not really. <laughs> it means we can start panning for ore. We can start panning for ore? Are you serious? This is amazing news. Here, I've got an extra pan in my backpack. Why don't you take it? Thanks, Grandpa 2.0. I will take it. That is very generous of you. Ooh, a copper pan. Cool. Thanks, Grandpa. If you ever see ore glistening in the water, use that pan and see what you find. Okay, I will do just that. Hey, I got a copper pan. Thanks, Grandpa 2.0. That's an awfully nice gift of you to give. A nice gift for you to give. Oh, hey, Demetrius, what's going on? Maru helps me out in the lab sometimes. She's a good kid. She is a good kid. I can see why you dote upon her so much. Hey, Robin, what's going on? I have a question. I can add a cellar to your house. The cellar can be used to age certain products like wine and cheese. It will cost 100,000 G. Are you interested? Robin, take a look at the price tag. Now take a look at my pockets. Now back to the price tag. Now back to my pockets. Now back to the price tag. Now back to my pockets. Does it look like I can afford that? No. I'm interested, but I simply cannot afford it. Hey, Robin, can you give me a discount? I knew it from the moment you stepped off that bus, Otter. You were destined to be a town hero. Oh, stop it. That's so nice of you to say. Wow. Oh, ugh. hi, Sebastian. You gave me a jump scare too. What is up with people today? If I just disappeared, would it really matter? Yes. Don't say such things. You need to go to the counselor that Shane's seeing for sure. What do I even have to give you? I don't even have anything cool to give you that you would like for sure. Well, I'll come back. You hold that thought. You, I'm gonna tell Harvey about you. And I'm gonna find a counselor for you too, because that's not good thoughts to be having. Oh my gosh, fellow farmers, I totally forgot that I wanted to come up here. I look for the secret note about the necklace. Let's go do Linus, I haven't seen you forever. Wait, I totally have a cactus fruit for you, my friend. This is wonderful. You've really made my day special. I'm glad, Linus. I hope you join us in the community center one of these days. Uh, it's available. Come in whenever you feel oh. Oh, hi, Rasmodius, what are you doing? In front of the chicken statue, wondering a little bit about what's going on there? Me too. Ah, Otter, I've been waiting for you. That's so creepy, Rasmodius. You are so creepy. I don't even know how to express that to you fully. Have I ever told you I used to be married? Yeah, your ex-wife flies around and curses people now. I kind of get it after knowing you for a little while. Strange, I know, for a man like me, but it's true. It's not that strange. Everybody likes a little bit of company now and then. I totally get it. My wife and I were together for many years until, until I made a mistake that drove her away. Was it not making her your apprentice? Because let me tell you, I understand. Her anger and envy were so intense that she turned green and began flying around the countryside, cursing everything in her path. Wait a minute, does she visit farms? Because we had a witch come by and bless us with a void egg. Was that your ex-wife? Oh my gosh, you know what? I actually kind of like her. I like her style. Uh, is there some way that I can get in contact with her? <laughs> when I found out, I sealed this passage to her home, fearing that an innocent villager might fall prey to her dark magic. What about you? Who's gonna seal you away, wizard? Ah, get away. Get away, get away. But now, it must be unsealed. For when we separated, she took my magic ink. You only just realized that she took your magic ink? You probably aren't using it very much. I need that magic ink back. Oh my gosh, don't ever look at me like that again. You are so horrifying. I would do this myself, but I, I can't see her again. That's why I need your help. For what price? Rasmodius. I must say, everything has a price. In order to unseal this passage, you'll need a dark talisman. Talk to Corobus in the sewer. He should know where to find one. Okay, fine. Talk to Corobus. I'll add that to my task list. Not like I'm doing anything else. I'm counting on you. If you can retrieve my magic ink, I promise I'll make it worth your while. Now go. I demand a hundred thousand G for this. Uh, hey, come back. Coward. My price is- Ah! Well, there she is. Well, hello, lovely lady. I like you an awful lot. Thanks for the void egg. Well, well, okay, fine. I hope Rasmodius is prepared to pay 100k for my services, but I must say I am intrigued in getting behind these chicken feet. Okay, fine, you've convinced me. But before I do that, let's check out the secret note here. By the bathhouse, by the bathhouse, it says. Okay, well, let's find that secret note. Okay. I borrowed a necklace from mom, but she lost it somewhere near the bathhouse. She's going to freak out if she notices it's missing. Oh, okay, let's do some work. Near the bathhouse, you say. Oh, okay. I need to try something else that's not working. 
let's try that. If it's in the bathhouse, or if it's near the bathhouse. Let's just try this for a second. Oh, oh my gosh, I am so smart. I am so smart. I figured out that puzzle. Ornate necklace. Uh, okay, new puzzle. Whose is it? <laughs> like, whose is it? I don't know. Oh my gosh, I forgot to take care of my Milky Babes. They're gonna be so mad at me. Okay, let's take our last espresso. Go, 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 go. I have to see my babies. I totally got distracted. I'm a terrible farmer. I'm a terrible caretaker. My poor Milky Babes. Guys, I'm so sorry. Well, let's go do that right now. Are you guys still awake? You're still awake. Oh, try to sleep. Oh, but I can milk you while you're sleeping, which is weird. But don't think too much about it. In fact, everybody be quiet. Okay, good night, good night, good night. Sleep well, everyone. Bye. Phew. Oh, hey. Oh my gosh, Benjamina. I will have to thank her in the morning. That's awfully nice. She gave me a truffle. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, 15 for you guys. And 15 for you guys. Tis only fair. Okay, cool. Now let's close you up. We don't want anybody getting in, you see? Oh man. I think that's definitely enough for one day. So... Let's go ahead and first, of course, set up our this. I'll put it over here. Ta-da! Because we did a good job. Okay. Good night, pep. All right, fellow farmers. I think that's going to do it for this update. Gosh, we got a lot done. We got the community center up and running and successfully drove Morris and Joja Mart out of Stardew Valley. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this update. And again, thank you all so much for your wonderful comments and all your helpful tips. I really appreciate it. And I really appreciate you all. Good night, fellow farmers. See you next time. You can count me in. George, you're amazing. That me doing your voice is <laughs> destroying my throat. <coughs> I'm dying, actually, I think. George, what have you done?